You may have seen these giant goldfish. The city of Burnsville, Minnesota, recently shared these pictures pleading with people to stop dumping their unwanted pets into ponds and lakes because they grow, causing big problems. As CBS's Charlie DeMar shows us, it's not just goldfish, but alligators too. Godzilla is 12 feet long and too heavy for the scale at the Critchlow Alligator Sanctuary. Godzilla, come up. Uh. He's the biggest of the 200 or so animals here, each with its own story, and too often a troubled past. The second alligator, his name is Quasi, and actually the one right next to it is Linus. Those two came together, and they were locked in a closet and left for dead. The roadside refuge has been in Lena Kelly's family for decades. Did I tell you how many sounds alligators make? Her dad, David, still leads tours. After about a year and a half, his backbone straightened right up. Unfortunately, people purchase them and then don't want to keep them for their lifetime. We have quite a few that came from drug houses or drug raids. The problem crosses the country. This alligator was pulled from a home in New Hampshire. Officers on a drug raid in California came across one in a rickety tank full of rancid water. Two five-foot alligators were recently seized from a Kentucky man. And in 2019, Chance the Snapper made headlines after he was dumped in the pond of a Chicago park. Many of our animals, because they've all been raised by people, they can't go to the wild, so there is no option for them. So in some cases, these alligators would have nowhere else to go? Correct, yeah. So they end up here, a most unexpected oasis nestled in the farm fields near Battle Creek, Michigan. Most people would never think of gators in Michigan. And with so many gators turning up where they don't belong, ha, ha. Lena and the staff decided to train animal control professionals. The classes usually sell out, and the students come from all over the Midwest, even Canada. Few have any hands-on experience. Sal Palumbo owns an animal removal business in Michigan. Ready for a trip. He's so sure he'll get a call soon. Whoa! He came here in April to learn the right way to wrangle the reptiles. What is it like handling an alligator that size? You're dealing with essentially solid muscle. What was that like for you? I know that was oh different. Oh my goodness, it's so exhilar exhilarating. Turn your back. Yep. Even with training, the dangers are high. An alligator is an apex predator. He has capability that a lot of people certainly would never even imagine. And with the training comes a newfound respect. Charlie DeMar, CBS News, Athens, Michigan.